Our next hero is Jim Peters, a registered nurse and the case manager at Horizon Home Care and Hospice Incorporated. Jim is a nurse's nurse. In fact, another nurse nominated him for this award, telling us that he inspires, he coaches, he makes a difference, and he makes me proud of my chosen profession every day. Jim understands that every patient has a life, a family, a history, a story. With that philosophy, Jim treats his patients as the whole human beings that they are. Please welcome Jim Peters. Well, hello, everybody. I'm so pleased to be here. And firstly, I'd like to thank uh, Horizon Home Care. Um, I've been with them about seven or eight years. I used to work in construction. So this is a second career for me. I want to thank uh, Mary Hainer, and I especially want to thank uh, my staff and management crew who's sitting over there. Uh, they are the best crew I've ever seen over there. Um, well, I work in home care, which means traveling all over Waukesha County. I see everything from soup to nuts. I kind of liken what Forrest Gump said, uh, my nursing career is like a box of chocolates. I never know what I'm going to get. And when I walk in the door, um, I may have information that says, okay, here's the patient. This is what's wrong. But there's so much, much, much more to it than that. Um, family dynamics, the environment, uh, psychosocial issues, uh, patients who have fallen through the cracks, uh, have not been thoroughly assessed in various areas. So what we do is we find out what's really going on in the home, what's really going on with the patient, and try to dig in and see how many ways we can uh, impact care. Um, I do a lot of communication. I'm certainly bugging the doctors all the time with every conceivable thing uh, that's important to me. But again, it's, it's a holistic type of approach in the community where we try to impact the patient in many, many ways. Uh, I've had certainly some very difficult cases in the last year. I was nominated uh, for a particular case of a fellow who just got a little nick on his leg, was in three days later at the hospital, flight for life to uh, St. Luke's, uh, nearly died, necrotizing fasciitis, uh, went to uh, a, a local rehab hospital and decided he couldn't stand it there anymore and came home, in my opinion, to die. And uh, when I took his, took his uh, wound care, uh, his dressings off the first day, it was like I gasped. I'd never seen anything so horrible. And when we discharged him about uh, four or five months later, he was walking, he was well, and it took some more rehab, and now he's walking on two feet and running his business, and that's what it's all about. So again, thanks everybody. Um, this is a very challenging position, and I'm very, very honored to be here today.